Bay Ridge DIY here. If you're like me in the summer, my family likes to play cornhole, beanbag toss, but we always tend to lose track of score when we're playing. Conversation, drinks start flowing, you know how it goes. Today I'm going to show you how I built my collapsible scoreboard and drink holder. It's a really easy project to do. You can do it out of one 2x4 sheet of plywood, a little bit of construction paper, very simple to do. Stick around, I'll show you how I did it. Okay, let's get started. To start this project, I mark out all of the measurements onto a 2x4 sheet of plywood. I'm using some 9 16 tech ply that I've described in some other videos. It's a great plywood for this project, multi-layer and a really good crossband. At the end of this video, I will leave a link to my website where you can find all of the measurements for this project. Once I have all of my lines drawn out, I use the table saw to cut the main section of the drink and scoreboard holder. I cut down to the start of the V. I'll clean the rest of this up with a jigsaw in a little bit. To cut the V section of the legs out, I use a couple clamps, a straight edge, and my jigsaw. This works great to cut a straight angled line in a piece of plywood. Once I have the V and both angles cut out on the edge, I finish up what I couldn't get with the table saw. Out of the scrap piece off the side, I cut a four inch strip. Leave the angle on. This will be the angle for your back brace. With the rest of the scrap, I cut two 12 inch pieces out. This is for your scoreboard and your cup holder. I rip them down to four inches and five inches. The cup holder will be 5 inches wide and the scoreboard will be 4 inches. Next, cut down two pieces that are an inch and a quarter by 12 inches long. These will be for the guides to hold your back brace and your cup holder in place. With the table saw set down to about a quarter inch, I cut a groove in the side of the strips we just ripped. I cut it a quarter inch in and a quarter inch high to fit the slide for the back and the cup holders. The length on the long end of the back brace is 23 inches. I will square that off and measure an inch and 5 eighths down on the other side to get my angle that will sit on the ground. I then use my adjustable angle gauge to get the correct angle to set the miter on the table saw. Using a piece of four inch scrap, I mark out a four by four square. I measure in an inch in on each side and make an angle for the bottom of the drink holder. For the slides that will go on the backs of the removable pieces, I use a piece of quarter inch plywood. Now that I have all the components cut out, I use a 3 8 roundover bit and my router table to put a roundover to take off all of the sharp edges. While I'm doing this, I'd like to remind you to click that button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll keep making more videos like this and have some good shop tips for you to see. Out of the narrow strips that we put a groove in earlier, I cut two 4 inch pieces out on the table saw. I measure down where I want my cup holders to sit, then I make a centering line. I'll give all these dimensions in the plans at the end of this video. I place a scrap piece of the tech ply on the centering line. I then use some CA glue and some accelerator to hold these blocks in place until I get a chance to put screws in them. We use the quarter inch plywood strip as a slide for the base of the cup holder. I use some CA glue and some accelerator to hold it in place. We'll put some screws in it later. 
To attach the scoreboard, I mark out two spots where I want to countersink some holes. I use my countersink bit and a drill to countersink holes from the back side. I then flip the board over, put a few drops of CA glue on with some accelerator to hold it in place. Once it's dry, I use a couple 3 quarter inch screws to finish it up. While I have it flipped over, I pre-drill a couple holes into the channels for the cup holder and use some 3 quarter inch screws to tighten that down also. You will want to sink a couple screws into the quarter inch plywood piece also. Make sure they're flush so they don't catch when you're sliding it in and out. To mount the top for the cup holders, I mark out where it will sit and pre-drill a couple holes. Once again, I use some CA glue and some accelerator to hold it in place until I can put the screws in. With the scoreboard standing upright, I mark out where the back leg will sit. We will use the same technique that we did for the cup holder. I'll take a scrap piece of tech ply, put it on a centering line, and then glue the two tracks to the side. The only difference from this side to the cup holder is that this side will need a top to keep the leg from sliding too far up. After everything is glued up, all that is left is to countersink some holes and screw it into place. Moving on to one of the more important parts of this project, the drink holders. I make a centering line both directions so I know where to start my drill bit for my hole saw. I use a 3 inch hole saw to drill out two holes in the top of this for my cup holders. It's a good idea to have a good sharp hole saw when doing this. A dull hole saw can twist your wrist pretty good with the drill and it doesn't give as good of a cut. I round over the top edge of the beverage holder with a 3 8 round over bit. With some 3 and a half inch PVC pipe I will use for the cup holders. I take some lacquer thinner and clean off the factory writing. I trace around the PVC pipe to get a template for the bottom of the cup holder. I use my jigsaw to cut this out, staying wide of the line. I'll use the router to clean it up in a little bit. I put some CA glue around the edge of the PVC, spray it with some accelerator, and glue it down to the plywood puck. Once that has had some time to dry, I use a flush trim bit in my router table and clean up the edges, making it flush. I then use a 3 quarter inch round over bit and round the ends over. To attach the cup holder to the base, I use some 5 minute fast dry epoxy. Make sure to clean up any squeeze out for a good clean appearance. For the last part of this project, I printed out some 2 inch by 3 inch numbers. I couldn't find the size I wanted online, so I just made my own. I use a laminator and two different colors, red and blue to determine teams. I place the numbers in with about a half inch gap in between each one. This allows me to leave a nice clear border around each piece of paper. It helps keep them waterproof in case they were to get wet. After cutting out all of my numbers, I use the preset mark on my hole punch to mark a hole in the center about a half inch down on each one. I found some inch and a half key rings that snap together laying around the shop. I make a mark three quarters of an inch down and spaced evenly for the numbers that I need. I use an eighth inch drill bit. I wiggle it up and down a little bit to make an oblong hole for the key ring to fit into. I did a quick test fit with the rings and the numbers and then this project's just about done. Just got to put a finish on it. I sprayed my scoreboards with an ebony black tinted lacquer. This matches the center of my cornhole boards. Finished up the scoreboard and drink holder. Turned out really nice. I like the way these go. It fits together real nice. Slides apart. 
fits right inside the boards when they're together and in storage. You don't have to keep it anywhere. It doesn't take up any room in your garage. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our channel down below to see more of them like it. We have a few more videos out there. We have more coming. Some really cool projects, DIY stuff. Everything I do, you can do at home with minimal tools. Regular plywood and wood you can just find laying around your shop or the local hardware store. I will put a link to the plans for this on my website, greenbayplywood.com. Check it out. We have all of our videos posted there also. Check us out on Instagram, Bay Ridge DIY. Hope you liked the video. Have a good one.